Our next speaker is His Excellency, Mr. Mangele Maulio Mangele, Minister of Education, Sports and Culture of Samoa. Your Excellency, you have the floor. President, General, Director General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am truly honored to present once again at this significant conference. I wish to extend to UNESCO our heartfelt appreciation for its continuing assistance in multiple ways to ensure the world we live in is a better place. Your mission to contribute to the building of peace, poverty, eradication, lasting development, and intercultural dialogue with education as one of the key pillars to achieve this aim needs reiterating. This is why Samoa is committed to UNESCO, and I wish to give assurance that we will continue to be proactive in our efforts to contribute to the achievement of our collective vision and fundamental duty for a better world. In my address at the previous conference, I highlighted some of our achievements, and this include joining the ICH Convention. This morning, I am pleased to inform you also that Samoa has signed the instrument of accession to the 2005 UNESCO Convention and the protection and promotion of diversity in cultural expressions. Samoa is keen to continue its active involvement in all areas, including culture, sports, education, communication, climate change, and information technology, to name a few. On another positive note, I wish to especially thank the Director General of UNESCO and all the UN family for your invaluable presence in a co and contribution at the Small Island Developing States SITS Conference hosted by Samoa in September last year. The SITS Conference was an opportunity to launch significant partnership that will provide impetus for our shared agenda for sustainable development, not just within, but beyond the Pacific arena. The adoption of the new set of sustainable development goals by the UN Family of Nations calls for united efforts across the world. Samoa is committed to education for sustainable development, not only for the Pacific, but more importantly, the world. As highlighted by our Prime Minister at the 70th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York this year, there is a dire need for all countries to take concerted action to combat climate change and its impacts. This is also a priority goal enshrined in the SIT's accelerated modalities of action, Samoa pathway, the outcome document of the third international conference on small island developing states. Mr. President, the small island states of the Pacific region are experiencing the impacts of more than other countries and the risk posed are threatening reality we live with on a daily basis. The adverse effects of climate change are real and as leaders of our global community, the time to act is now. The debate held around the world has been numerous and attests to the urgency of the uses that threaten our existence. I wish to re reiterate the point I made earlier, the education is the key, the answer to all dilemmas we face. This was the key message we all took away from the UNESCO Conference on Sust Sustainable Development in Aichi Nagoya in Korea last year. Our commitment to climate change, poverty redu redu reduction, protection of our natural environment and cultural heritage can only be consolidated and made effective through education. We need to pay more attention to the, uh, to the importance of investing in our youth, natural and social science and culture as well. Young people are not just the future, but they are key drivers of change and can make a huge difference if their role are taken to another level. I salute the UNESCO initiative for youth around the world and appeal for more opportunities for our young people. They can bring fresh ideas, enthusiasm, and, and vitality, which can lead to more innovative developments to benefit society and the world at large. It is important to bring in more and more of the natural and social sciences, as they are also important to our understanding of the world and the use and development of techniques that are essential to life. Culture is our foundation means to preserve and nurture the cultural heritage and tradition across the, the globe, and must continue to be a big part of our deliberations. The Pacific Island countries acknowledge the dedicated efforts made by the UNESCO Secretariat, in particular UNESCO APIA office to assist our efforts towards various initiatives, including the following, literacy and numeracy, teacher quality, school leadership, developing professional standards for teachers, early childhood education, anti-doping in sports, 
and integrating sustainable development, including climate change, HIV and AIDS, disaster risk management into education. Mr. President, the challenges we face across the world are growing by the minute, and we can only combat these through united efforts and using education as our tool to bring about positive change, empowering our generation and ensure a better world for them. Finally, I wish to close by saying that Samoa is a candidate to the executive board because of the genuine and strong commitment of the people of Samoa and the Pacific to peace and international understanding, as well as government's commitment to education, the science, culture, communication in Samoa, the Pacific, and the world. May God bless you all. So it's